different this year. <laughs> Luke Stalton, mate, he's going to win with Europe's strongest man, he's going to be world's strongest man. Tom. It's the first event of World's Strongest Man. It's always that little, there's a high energy system in the stratosphere. It's coming down to these hands. Doing good? Good touch, the sunflower hats. Where was I? I love you, Sarah! Thank you! Plastered all over Instagram, too. I think she's all over Instagram. Are you okay? Because I'm about to say, she's literally all over Instagram. Alright. We're going to head in. Alright, see you later. So we're good. I just have to mildly top you off before you go out. You're like right there. How are you? Oh, good, mate. We're here again. Usual bit of hate, a little uh, waiting around, you know, but we fun when we get started. Start with a pretty straightforward event. And this uh, the Stonewall, so yeah, it's nice. First, I was afraid. I was petrified. <laughs> I'm good, nervous, especially because Luke's about to go out, so I'm very nervous. And um, obviously, at this first event, Webster Stones, he's got two really good um, grip, well, I don't say grip specialists, but they're amazing at grip, Kevin and uh, Eddie. So Luke's job here really is to try and get f third place. Um, and if he can do that, he's in a really good spot in the other events. Um, and the Webster Stones do look nice. People are moving with faster feet, different to the Nickel Stones. So I think it's going to be pretty good. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm staying mellow, staying chilled and relaxed and really focusing on just saving as much energy as possible so that way when the time comes I can let the T-Rex out of the cage and let him do his thing. Rawr. <laughs> Oh, 
Representing the United States, Thomas Evans. Move, Tom Stoltman! Stoltman! Reset, Tom! Reset, Tom! Reset, you got time! Take your time! Let's hear it for Yaku Skutvikov! Yeah, really good, man. It's uh, first ever World's Strongest Man. First event went well. It, obviously, you want to be winning every event if we can, but we've got to be realistic. It's not about winning one event. We've got to ideally win the group. So just keep working one event at a time. Tom's looking fantastic at the moment. Really strong, really focused. So everything's exactly where we want it to be. It's amazing to see Luke, you know, Third or fourth was probably a realistic target for the first event. To finish it in second sets him up fantastically, I think. He should be looking at winning the group. Um, good performance in the deadlift if he does what he did at Europe. Strongest man, same weight, same setup. So it's going to be really good to see. I think both brothers in the final, both of them winning their group again would be fantastic. I think 2022, they both won their group. Tom went on to take the title. So we'll see if we can repeat it again. Not bad. I think he done what he needed to do. <laughs> Same as how Luke did. <laughs> but it's obviously because, like, Koa is the good luck charm. Nothing to do with how hard they trained. <laughs> That's going well, really well. Do you need to get Koa in the shade? And everything will be good. Um, so basically this is my first World Strongest Man and I'm, I'm really proud to represent Gat. It's a dream come true. I've been doing strongman for three years. I used to watch Tom and Luke on TV and uh, basically... I don't have any appetite on being able to... It's a dream come true, man. Yeah, it's a dream come true, man. Let's look one more time. Okay, there we go, we got that, man. I mean, it's a dream come true, yeah? <laughs> Meeting really good people, good tips. It's a big privilege, it's a big pleasure. I mean, being able to compete under pressure is just one thing. I mean, most strong men should be able to have, yeah? I had a talk, talk with uh, Tom, and Tom told me sometimes you don't have to think, you just have to do. 
that's a hallmark of a strongman. So I'm here to learn, I'm here to get better, and uh, you know, I hope I come back next year. No hope, I'm coming back next year and maybe for it all. We get better and better every day. Representing Great Britain, Luke Stokeman! That was good. Really lovely performance, exactly what we practiced. No rushing, no messing about. Five bars, nice and smooth and consistent. Little bit of a fumble with his left strap on the left bar, which, you know, made it a little bit twitchier than I'd have liked, but he's so strong, you know, once he gets his hand locked in, he's just gonna pull it. We've just had two events done and we're going into now the sandbag steeple. So Luke's sitting in second at the moment, joint second with, on nine points, the leader's on 11 points. But sandbag steeple should be a real good one for Luke. Uh, it's a bit of a different steeple than what they do at Giants. They've got to load over the first yoke and then go round the yoke, pick the sandbag up again and take it all the way to the platform at the end, then come all the way back for the next bag. There's also three bags this time, uh, just to be even more brutal. And there's there are three 120 bags, all different shapes. And there's one that Luke's going to start with, which is an absolutely massive bag, but it's a bit of a like sheep and wolves. Is that, what's, what's the word? Sheep's clothing. Yeah, the opposite of that, I think. Sheep and wolves. Yeah, because the sheep and wolves clothing, because it's not that heavy for Luke, really, at 120, but it just looks like a beast. So um, I told him to just be confident and basically grip and rip it and um, not, not treat it as it looks, treat it as you know what it weighs. Uh, hoping for a really fast time. Luke's done steeples before and he's good at them, so yeah, he's just got to go out there and send it. Right there. <laughs> That's next level right there. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the boys are doing really well. I think Luke's giving some great performances. Uh, people are sneaking in and getting those uh, little advantages. I think he just got beat with a hot 0.8 of a second on the loading. Uh, but he's in really good place. Great events coming up. Uh, and what I noticed with Luke is just so much more relaxed this year. You know, he's got his little boy with him, his wife with him, and he's just he's just chill. And that's the best way to be. I always say, to give your best performance, you've got to be happy at home. You know, and he, uh, he just seems happy, and and, that, and that's why I think he's going he's delivering a bit better this year. Uh, Tom, he doesn't need. You know, he, I don't think he, he could be miserable to still come perform. Uh, Tom is doing amazing. You know, and I can see he's not even getting out of first gear. So uh, Tom's smashing it. He's ready to ramp it up when it counts, which is in the final. Oh, oh, sorry, mate. Just watch your feet. I might get you. I might overflow a bit. <laughs> Oh, oh, how's that feeling, man? Oh, 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 baby doll. Hey right, guys, so day one is done. Some hard events. Uh, I'm just finished the steeple chase. That was tough. That was really tough. But yeah, uh, obviously can't say too much. You can check the results online. But um, yeah, feeling really good going into day two. Yeah, motivated. Really happy with the performance today. It was very consistent. It's my goal this year is to be as consistent as I can, and I feel I'm doing that. You know, I'm not dropping too many points. Yeah, onwards and upwards. Now, uh, just in the, the ice bath cold tub, which they've kindly supplied um, over here at World's Strongest Man. So, that is all from me. We're going to watch Tom in the final event. He's looking, he's looking in control. And yeah, it's going to be a good day tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll chat to you tomorrow. Throw these over, Tom! Go, 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 go! Get back, Tom! Oh, Tom! Last word, Tom! Throw, throw! Come on, Tom! Last stuff for the day. Not him, Right guys, so a second, second, first, good, good start to the qualifiers. Not being consistent and uh, yeah, paid off. The, all the extra training I've been doing for that um, sandbag medley event has been great, and uh, yeah, didn't seize up, didn't kind of lose any energy, and kept the same pace, which is really good. So yeah, I'm happy with that. On to day two now. We have got uh, Viking Press and Carwatt tomorrow. So point in it. So it's going to be going to be fun, going to be spicy. But we'll see you guys tomorrow. Boom.